Carl, a couple of questions for you. Um, tough game tonight, 2-1 victory against League Town. What are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I think it's always going to be a tough game. You come away to, to League Town uh, fighting to get in the playoffs. and uh, We were a good side and we knew that before the game. For the first half, it was, it was very good in terms of us going forward and the front four, the movement was really good and we getting in. Um, and we end up taking our chances in the second half. It was a different story for Lee come at us, which we expected, and probably deserved something out of the game in terms of um, trying to trying to get something from him. We we hung on at times, and maybe poor finishing from the the, the league players in the final third. Maybe didn't get them that point what they they, they wanted. Do you think? Uh, I mean, obviously the, the the playoffs are looming large for yourselves. You're in, you're in with a good chance for those. You look at the teams. In and around the playoffs, it's tough up there. What do you do? You have any targets set for yourself? Is promotion expected? What what kind of um, your chairman? What does he say to you in terms of where where you want to finish? Uh, chairman's brilliant. He doesn't put any pressure on us. He um, he's similar to ourselves. We take each game as it comes, and every game that comes our way, we want to win three points. Um, and we've, we've done that tonight, and gives us a good chance of creeping up and getting points on other teams. Um, so yeah, long may that continue and we'll, we'll look forward to Saturday and we'll make sure that we're prepared right and we're ready for the game uh, against rugby. One or two of the league lads have, have spoke about the second goal and s some have mentioned it might have been offside. How did you see that? Yeah, I mean it was a, it was a distance away from, from where, where I was standing. Um, you know, we've, we've had a cross field ball, what's going across and apparently it hasn't touched a lad who was supposed to be in that offside position. The referee come over and explained that to us and said he wasn't interfering. So if he wasn't interfering in play, then the goal stands and we get our rewards. Um, you know, looking on league side, it might it might be tough, but you know we're happy to come away with the win. Carl, that will do for me, fella. All the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thanks. Okay, Ant, two one defeat to Witten. It's it's a tough spell at the moment, results wise. What what are your thoughts at the moment? Uh, well, we we deflated at the minute. I mean, like you say, it's a tough patch that we're going through. Uh, and just going on to today's game, I thought we showed a lot of character that had been missing uh, the last two or three games. Whereas I think if we'd have shown the commitment and the the work ethic that we have done tonight, we'd have got more out of the the previous three or four games. Uh, so, like I say, it's a bit deflating. We're a bit. Uh, we're a bit down on confidence. Uh, we, we're just waiting for a little bit of luck. I think looking at tonight's game, their second uh, that went in turned out to be uh, the winner. Three or four of the lads have said it was offside, uh, so we'll have to have a look at that. But it just seems at the minute where we, we're not uh, we're not getting a rub of the green at the minute now. Up until this point today, I think well, we haven't played well enough anyway to earn that bit of luck. I think you need to create a bit of your own luck in, in football, uh, and you do that by working hard and, and getting through these great patches. I think tonight, if we can show that sort of character and determination, I think we'll turn the corner quickly. And hopefully, we do start in Saturday uh, because although it's a long shot for us now, <coughs> I feel uh, if we can put a little run together, we, we won't be a million miles away. but. Uh, like I say, we, we've left ourselves a mountain to climb, uh, and against a good wit inside, really, to be fair, I think the second half there we've made them uh, look quite average side. So uh, that, it's pleasing uh, from that point of view, but we don't want to be happy with uh, losing games of football. Uh, that's what's happened. There's four on the bounce now where where we've not won, but I think we're, we're still creating chances. Uh, we, we've had a couple of decent chances, a couple cleared off the line tonight. So. It's just uh, it, it's football at the end of the day, and we, we always said that we'd have a, a rough patch somewhere along the way, and it's just happened to come at the wrong time of the season. So uh, that's the most frustrating thing about it. But hopefully, like I say, there's another game uh, Saturday. The games are coming thick and fast now, and we need to get out of this little blip as quickly as possible. I think you know I, I've obviously seen the game tonight, and I, for me, the players look committed. They, they certainly played with um, determination, they played with commitment, that, that's what I saw. As a manager, when you're going through a, a, di a difficult spell, when you're going through a difficult spell like this, how do you keep the the players, you know, how do you keep, it must be difficult, the confidence is low as you say, and how do you keep them going? I suppose you just, you tell me, because it's, it's, everyone gets a bit deflated, yeah, I'm a bit I mean, deflated. Football's like that, I mean there's, there's not many uh, people in football where they can say, They've had long periods of success and they're always winning games. 
as far as non-league football goes, you're very lucky if you can be in a side that's uh, really successful and, and you, you go on and, and win games week in, week out. I think it, it's important for, like I say, when, when we are losing games, we, we do feel deflated after games and a bit low on confidence. But at the start of the games, the dressing rooms, as it always is, whether we've won five on the bounce or lost five on the bounce, uh, it's it's after the game where that atmosphere starts creeping in a little bit. And uh, I mean, Don has said in the dressing room after uh, winning games breeds confidence, but again, losing games is the same sort of thing where it just knocks your confidence. So it, it's important that the, the lads stick together, and I think that's what gets you through it with the lads sticking together because we have got a cracking dressing room. Uh, they're all pulling in the, the same direction. Uh, and like I say, hopefully it's just a matter of time before we turn the corner. Finally, Spalding at home on Saturday. Another tough game. What um, can you tell us about them? Well, we we know uh, all about Spalding. It'll be a, a physical encounter, uh, be a direct side, and it'll be a, it'll be a tough game for us. Uh, but I'm hoping if we show the character that we have shown tonight and and the spirit, uh, we'll be able to match them physically, and hopefully then our quality will come through and, and these half chances and chances we're creating uh, hopefully we'll get a find bit of luck and find the back of the net I think we're just we're just missing Grice you just find it I think if he gets one he'll, he'll go, go on, on run. and he'll run that's mm. what I'm hoping anyway because he, he's he's down on confidence himself at the minute but uh, goal scorers are like that and as soon as he can get out of that little dry patch hopefully he can kick on then and score some goals and you're a gentleman thanks very much cheers. for the first few minutes cheers